So I want to thank Simon Hill for bringing this up. There was a study done um, looking at subclinical atherosclerosis, like people who have atherosclerosis that's not yet detected by normal cardiovascular risk factors. And he brought up this study that I had totally forgotten about, but it's a very well done study from the early 2000s up to 2014, and they plan on continuing it all the way up to 2030. Um, I'm going to put the study up and we're going to talk about it. They found that 45% of people with a normal LDL of about 100 to 110 had subclinical atherosclerosis. They used fancy imaging, stuff only available to scientists and researchers. They looked at the carotids. They looked at the uh, abdominal aorta, the iliofemoral arteries. They did some fancy, fancy imaging. And they found that the vast majority of people with LDLs that were considered normal actually had atherosclerosis. This is the study that you want to look up. You can actually download the full issue. It's a fantastic read. Probably the average layperson could also read it and still understand it. Here is all the different